guys, I'm here today to do a things I don't understand video. Let's do this. And I don't really know if you guys want me to do like a things I don't understand series. Like this video is just going to be a things I don't understand about a lot of things, like just in general. But if you want me to do like a things I don't understand about girls, things I don't understand about guys, things I don't understand about anything, um, just let me know in the comments. It could literally be things I don't understand about anything, like whatever specifically you want me to do a video on. But this is just going to be like a broad things I don't understand about whatever. So I don't understand people that have personal space issues. I just don't get it. I don't know if this is just like a claustrophobic thing with me, but whenever I'm at Starbucks and the people behind me are like standing so close to me, I'm just like, oh my god, I I just don't really know what to do with myself. I'm just like, okay, can you like take 30 steps back, please? That'd be awesome. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I don't, like, you don't know me. Why do you want to be standing this close to me? I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't. People that stop right in the middle of really, really crowded places, like at amusement parks, if it's like in a store, like stores aren't always extremely crowded, but like, if you see someone you know and you're like, hey, and then you stop right in the center and you know there's people around you trying to get on with their lives and you're just like, oh, I'm going to have a 10 minute conversation with this person. You can go around. Like, no, you can move. I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand people. Maybe I should just call this video a things I don't understand about people because that's pretty much what it's going to be, I feel like. Change my mind. This is just the things I don't understand about people video. One thing that I don't understand about specifically girls because I don't feel like guys really have this problem, but I don't understand how girls can be extremely annoyingly clingy with guys. Especially if you know they don't like you back, or especially if they have a girlfriend, why are you still trying? Why are you still trying? Especially if they have a girlfriend. Like, I don't get it. Like, you're just going to keep texting them, and then their girlfriend's just going to hate your guys. I don't get it. And I've been single my entire life, and it's not in a way that you're going to get a boyfriend if you're just constantly annoying them, jeopardizing his relationship by saying, oh, I like you a lot, but you have a girlfriend now, then why, why, if, I, mm, I don't get it, I don't, mm, I don't know, I don't, I, oh my god. This annoys me to no end, and I know people, personally, that do this, not just like random people, but people that I know personally that do this. When people on Instagram use like 30 hashtags, it's so annoying. People aren't going to, I personally would want to unfollow you on Instagram. I don't do it with people that I know personally because then like I'll feel bad because like I'm still friends with them. But... When people use, like, 30 hashtags, and they post, like, a selfie, and then they put, like, everything that's in the window. It's like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, say they're taking a selfie in their bedroom, and then they put, like, hashtag selfie, hashtag cute, hashtag Instagram, hashtag window, hashtag pillow, hashtag white walls, hashtag One Direction cardboard cutouts, hashtag One Direction poster, hashtag pictures on the wall, hashtag white, hashtag, hashtag you need to shut up. It's like, they do a bunch of hashtags to get a bunch of likes, and it's like, hashtag window, who are you going to get to like it? Like, freaking, like, home inspectors, freaking, like, window makers, like, <laughs> I literally, I don't think I've ever done more than, like, four hashtags, and even that, to me, is excessive, like, I'll, if I post, like, a One Direction related picture, I'll post, like, hashtag One Direction, so that directioners can find the picture 
or something, but that's it. Like, I'll post hashtag Larry Silence, and if I post a picture of Larry, or something like that. But that's, that's all you need to do. That's it. Or if, like, YouTubers, like, if I do, um, if I recreate one of Bethany's, um, hair tutorials or something, I'll use the hashtag MacBarbie07, and then, like, if I copy one of Jen's, um, nail tutorials, I'll use the hashtag Miss Jen Fabulous. I got her to like one of my pictures by doing that and I was extremely excited. But that's it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to hashtag everything in your picture. Oh my god. I'm probably going to get some hate for this one because um, that warp Tour thing or whatever the heck that is was like a few days ago a bunch of my friends on Facebook were posting about it that they were going that kind of music just creeps me out like screamo heavy rock that kind of stuff that's not music to me like it's really disturbing actually it's kind of weird I don't get it I just I don't like you can't even understand what they're saying and like, it's just weird. I don't get it. There's one Screamo song that I've listened to that I can actually tolerate. I haven't even listened to it since, like, eighth grade, and that's not an exaggeration. I don't even remember what it was called. I think it's called, like, Mother May I or something. By Eat Me While I'm Hot, I think. I don't know. I don't even remember it. I think that's it. But it's not even screamo throughout the entire song. But, again, I haven't listened to that song in a really long time, and if I listened to it again, I probably wouldn't like it, because middle school was, like, my awkward stage years. So, yeah, I'd probably listen to some pretty weird music, like that kind of part of the world. <laughs> I don't understand people that make up excuses for everything, even when they know that they're wrong about something, because they can't be wrong. I don't get people that don't care about other people's feelings whatsoever. Like, they literally think no one else on the planet has feelings besides them. Like, their world revolves around themselves. Like, people that can blatantly say stuff to other people and not think about how the other person is going to take it. Like, I put other people's feelings way before my own. My own feelings are like the bottom of my list. If I'm having a really crappy day, I want to make sure that everyone around me is happy. I don't care if I am or not. Like, that's just the kind of person that I am. If I'm in a bad mood, I'm not going to show it. Like, especially around my friends and family. Like, I'm it's just not the kind of person I am. Like, I know people that if they're in a bad mood, they want everyone around them to be in a bad mood. They will just be snapping on everyone. They'll be like saying really, really mean things, and it's just, I can't, I can't do that, it's just, no, like, if I, I'm the type of person that if I feel like something I say is going to hurt someone's feelings, even in the slightest way, there's like an 800% chance that I'm not going to say it, and I know people that will just be like, that shirt looks really ugly on you, like, did you just say that, okay. I don't care if you think it's ugly, if they like it, then that's all that matters. If they feel good in it, then they should wear it as much as they want. Why does it matter? It's not your shirt. If you don't want to wear it, then don't. <sighs> I don't get it. I d um, literally, people make absolutely no sense to me. People in this day and age only care about one thing, and that's themselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little things I don't understand video. It was mostly a things I don't understand about people video. Because I will never begin to understand people. I just don't get it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me comments down below, video suggestions that you have for me. One Direction related ones and non One Direction related ones because I want to start doing more non-One Direction ones because I feel like the majority of my channel is One Direction related videos and I don't want to limit my subscribers to being Directioners so let's broaden this little friendship group that we've created. Literally you guys have been so amazing to me. 
um, my It Is What It Is Larry video reached 2,000 views, and I'm ecstatic about that. And yesterday, my Larry Rant video reached 1,000 views, and oh my gosh, you guys are so amazing. Like, you've been commenting so much on my videos. I'm up to 73 or 74 subscribers, I think. And when I hit 100 subscribers, I have a little surprise for you guys, so look out for that. And thank you guys so much for everything that you've done. Um, literally, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. And a lot of you guys are probably thinking 73, 74 subscribers really isn't that much, like compared to like Joey Graceffa, Tyler Oakley, like big YouTubers that I look up to so much. Um, but it's a start. And yeah, so I'm really excited and I love you guys so much. So request videos. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. A bunch of social networking links are in the down bar. So I will talk to you guys in my next video.